Hey guys. <laughs> All right. I gotta tell you what happened. The last little while. Okay. Oh, since last night. Um. Since last night, I had. I went back to sleep after I made the video. I went to sleep at six o'clock. I. I was laying there and I couldn't stop tuning in to where they're having that where the sacrifice table was from my last video I couldn't stop going there I couldn't stop going there and so I figured there's a reason why so I, uh, JC's right at me he told me he's telling me all this I kept seeing it and there were guards around around me because they knew because I saw that one uh, entity look at me and I knew they were coming. Christ knew they were coming. So I couldn't do anything. I fell asleep. I was blocking it, trying because if I see something, I'll, I just automatically go to it, right? So I fell asleep. I woke up and I'm still seeing it and it's pulling me. It's like something's pulling me down and I can feel it pulling me and I, so I blocked it a little bit and the pressure left the, the, the pull sort of left I then got JC and I said they're pulling me they're pulling me you know something's pulling me down there and I didn't even see I couldn't see the room anymore so just it was just like a pull in the blackness and I didn't know what it was so JC came in into me and called the guards or whatever they were the cops the people who go down and go down and kick ass, right? So, they're down there. Then they go, they hooked up to me. Christ is hooked into me. The guards are hooked into Christ. And they said, okay, Rich, we don't want you to go in. We just want you to go down. Just like halfway so we until we get a view. And then we're going to swarm in and fucking take care of business. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So I thought there was like Christ here was here. I'm here and I'm laying in my bed and meditating. I'm totally meditating. I got damn near astral traveling. There's another guy here. There's another guy here. Christ is here and there's another guy. I don't know how many there were. I was just looking. So all of a sudden I just let myself go. We started going down. And we all started going down. Whatever was pulling me down, I just started going with it. And they're pulling me down, whatever it was. And he goes, okay, we see it. That's enough. And so I stopped. And then and Christ goes three, two, one, and they all went whoosh. They went down there. Well, they had a little discussion of what to do. It would look like a little, a, a little lit up doorway in the, like a cave, and the doorway is lit up just a little bit. And so they went down secretly, like uh, Navy SEALs. Man, <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> they went down and they, they surrounded the area, the door. Two here, two here, and a couple of watchers up top. And, uh, as I look at the guys that landed, they were fucking knights, like knights templars with the gear and the chain mail and all this stuff, right? And I'm like, holy shit, it's like the Middle Ages or something. And these are the guys that kill demons, right? And catch witches and bad shit, right? And I'm like, holy fuck. And they're huge. These guys are like eight feet tall, man. Huge. And their fucking muscles are just huge. And they're all fucking righteous and cool. Just want to kick some ass. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm watching how they do the strategy. How they set up the whole box. So nothing can basically escape, right? So they surround this little cave thing. And I keep getting... I'm wanting to go into the cave. I want to go down there and fight with them, right? But oh, forget it. Anyway, that was awesome to see. That was really, really cool. Then, two guys sneak into the cave. Christ is not there. He's hanging back somewhere. I don't know where, but this is their job. These guys do this. They go into all the dark places. Then, far off over here, I'm hovering above the scene. Far off over here, I see a white thing take off. and it's take, It looks like a big maggot, like a maggot, and it's flying through the air. And I go, hey guys, there's one over there. Look, look, look. One of the guy, one of the guys that were up higher, saw it, turned his head, and 
he went right after he was standing there and he's like you know he's got all the night gear on and also he went whoosh and he went flying right after it and uh he went he just he didn't fly he just he was there beside like i'm looking at him and all of a sudden he just went into a blur just went blur <laughs> and then all of a sudden he grabs the mega thing and he puts he slams it he takes it to the ground and i'm watching i zoomed right in i'm watching this right he takes it, he, this thing is like, I don't know, big as me, but it's like a maggot. Looks like a big fucking maggot. And it's all goo, maggot goo. And then right like that, it had a face on it. So it's like a face, just a face on a puffy, bubbly skin. And all maggot. Anyway, it's fucking wiggling and screaming. He grabs it. He grabs it by the inside guts. Okay. I don't know how to grab it. I will admit it. And he takes it and he slams it. He, he slams it. He, he grabs it and he flies to the ground. That the other guys were working in the cave. Slams it to the ground. <laughs> he slams it to the ground. He pulls his fist and he's holding it with his hand. The goo. The guts. Or whatever. The thing that makes it a mega demon. And he slams it to the ground, and he takes his fence, and he's got his fucking... <laughs> you wouldn't fucking believe this shit. He takes his fence, and he goes, wow! <laughs> just, just like on the goddamn TV shows, man, I couldn't believe it. All this fucking spiked armor with spikes on the knuckles, and he just goes, <laughs> and He slams it, smashes his fucking head into the ground, then he's... Step, puts his foot on it, then he takes out a blade, and he goes, and he cuts it, and a little goo comes out, and he reaches in, grabs it, and he pulls out this thing, and he goes, there's your fucking demon, <laughs> and he goes, there's your fucking demon, and I go, oh, holy shit, I don't know what that is, right, and all it was, it looked like a gizmo, it looked like a, a little computer chip, a thorough computer chip, with a couple things sticking out of it. <laughs> he goes, that's your fucking demon. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit. So basically, they make them. Though these fucking witches and things, they make these fucking demons. They take a hunk of gristle, chicken, chicken bone, gristle, ethereal stuff, do some fucking voodoo on it, pour some blood, and sacrifice some things. <sighs> And inform it, give it life, and keep informing it, informing it, informing these energies, and then they let it go. You made yourself a robot demon. I can do it, and I know how to do it. Now, I ain't, I ain't doing none of that. But demons, these demons, they do their bidding, okay? And they're smart, they're pretty smart. Like not, not smart like us, like our souls, but... They're smart enough to do what they got to do. And they learn. They're learning things. So 20,000 years from now, this fucking thing is going to be huge. And it knows a lot of stuff. Because it hosts off, to other, hosts off other people. Alright? So, they kill that thing. They go inside the cave. There's nothing there. There's nothing. And I'm like, well, how's the light getting there, right? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway... Christ says, after that, to kill the demon, the show was over, there's nothing left to do. And so he took that little piece back to their, where they uh, kill that shit. They know what they're doing. And uh, they get information off the skin of the, the guts of the demon. They get information from this, the little thing, all of it. Christ just hangs onto it and goes, and watches its whole history and who made it and how and where, where it came from and all that. They do all that stuff. It's like psychic psychometry, right? I can do psychometry. I used to do psychometry like this. My friend was a World War II, or is a World War II uh, collector of World War II items. So he'd take me to the buy and sell shops, you know. So he'd see old Nazi stuff laying around and he liked to collect it. And he goes, but he likes to collect the real shit, not the, the fake stuff that's made to look like it, right? 
So he get me to do psychometry on it, on all the items in there. He goes, here, do this one. <laughs> and so basically, it's really easy to do. You take, pretend this is the World War II medal from the war. You got another one just like it. I take both of them in my hands, and which one glows like a bubble? That's the World War II one. Let's get a history behind it. There's an energy around it. So I take that, put it in my hand, I take the energy. Fuck, don't do this, it's stupid. Take the energy, bring it into your, into your body, up into your head, and all of a sudden you go whoop, and you're in a picture. You see the guy wearing the metal and what his life was. I got stories, man. And you see what he did. And that's how you know it's genuine or not. It's easy to do, take you two minutes, and that's it. But anyway, Christ does that with the demon things. That's simple. So, last night when I was watching that sacrifice, it wasn't a baby they were sacrificing, it was another one of the maggots. Christ said they were creating it. They were, they were creating it. I forgot he gave it a fancy word. But they are all going, sitting around this table, the, the key table, and they were going, oom ba um, ba hey. And the fucking doing this shit to this maggot thing that was laying on the table, bringing it to life, informing it, or whatever they do. I don't know. But, don't really care, kill it. <laughs> so, the, uh, well, I, I don't know, anyway, I just want to fight all the time. Um, woke up all day, I've been sitting here on a computer doing reverse speech, pumping these videos out, and I'm doing all my stuff, watching videos, you know, and then I'll take my headphones off and I'll just sit there and have a rest and I'll move energy. And I can hear someone going, ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I can hear it say it perfectly clear. Outside, it's outside, it's not inside, it's outside. They're going, does he see us? Does he know? We should let him go. I don't know. Maybe we should. Stuff like that, right? I can hear him talk. My innocence goes, Christ! Like that gives a cool word or whatever. Christ comes with the guys. With the cops or whatever they are, and I'm sitting there sweating. I'm, I'm, I'm frowning. What the fuck? These guys. Are it is the scariest fucking thing when something is right up against your head. Going, is him? What are we gonna do? I don't know. What do you think he is? Just watch him. <laughs> you know. And they're saying this to each other, they're talking back, and I'm sitting there acting like I'm watching with a computer. They ain't totally interested. My insides talking to Christ inside myself. My innocence is talking to Christ. Christ is forming a fucking raiding party and they already got a door set up coming around the apartment through the roof and they they drop, grab them right out of the roof. They got a door set up and everything ready to go. They don't know that though, right? And besides, there's a hundred other ways. So, I'm sitting there. I caught three before six o'clock this morning. Or maybe, no, six, seven or eight. I caught three. Well, I didn't catch them. I just told Christ they were here bothering me, pulling my energy. Like, they'll pull your energy like you're sitting here, and all of a sudden your head's going, and you feel like a suck. They're, they're sucking energy. And I can feel that. And I tell Christ they're sucking my energy, and what, and I can hear them, and this is what they're saying. Christ knows they're not supposed to be there, and no one's supposed to be there bothering Rich. And I just had this, he knows, this is from the sacrifice where they saw me. And so, so there, I'm in the illusion here on the computer, playing wide awake. They're talking. They came to get me. They're going to fuck me up. They're going to do something to me. They're just trying to figure out what, what my vulnerabilities are, all this shit, okay? As they're trying to figure it out because they think it's so fucking smart. Christ got ten knights up there ready to storm down, and he catches them. He just drops right in on them. Gotcha. Off we go. Just like that. And they touched me, too. I could feel them touch me. Like, I could feel them go. Down on my face. I could feel them touching me, right? And I knew it. And I knew it. And the one over here was touching me. Then another one came after that and it was touching me. So all three touched me. And I know it. Minnesons confirmed it. Christ grabbed them all. Took them up. I woke up at 6 o'clock. Um, no, I woke up at 3 o'clock this afternoon. 
Craig said, uh, they were tried and it was a hung jury. So they have hung juries in there. And now, my innocence don't lie. Right? It was a hung jury because they think one of them didn't touch me. Plus, they're pleading their fucking case. Right? They're pleading their case saying they didn't touch me. My innocence says, they touched me, I felt it, and he knows more than I do here. So, they got, um, what, what is it? Oh, it was a hung jury, so they're going to do a retrial. They do the same thing the same day. All this is, it's all done so fast, man, in the spirit of world. Um, six o'clock, three hours later, I'm on a computer with my headphones on. I hear the screaming inside me, so I, I listen. I go, what's up? And all three were convicted, and they're doing eight years. Eight years. And they're being, they're getting rehabilitation. And the reason I'm making this video, because it's eight o'clock now, and I just cut another one. I just cut another one. And there might be one here now, so I don't know. I'll listen. Um, I don't know. I'm making this video. <laughs> it's fucking hot here. Oh, man. I'm sweating. Anyway, I just caught one. They just grabbed it, took it away. I got my camera, started videotaping because I was going to forget all this stuff. And as far as I know, the last one that was here, it was talking to somebody, but I only saw the one. And it was talking, and it talked to me, and it talked to somebody else, and it said, we should let him go for now. The last thing I heard it say was, we should let him go for now. Okay, and then Chris came in, dropped down, grabbed it, took it away. All kids are screaming and everything. So that's another one I caught, so I caught four, convicted three to eight years. They got to read the Bible and uh, do Chris lessons and stuff for eight years. This one that I just caught, it's in jail or wherever, killed one of their demons, killed one of their demons, and I don't know what else is going to happen. That's four. That, now this is just the little group of psychopaths that were doing the ritual, okay, in the room. They have friends, 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 and friends, 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 friends. friends. get it but people are greedy greeds are undoing and they ain't gonna tell that person they want the bounty me right they want the prize me the guy who did that to our ritual we want them so they won't tell and give it away I don't know but you know stuff like that goes on all the time so I talked to Chris and he said about all that he goes expect anything anything and he goes we're watching you 24-7 well, I'm going, you didn't see that fucking one talking in my head, pulling my energy. He goes, look, busy. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. <laughs> He's teaching me, too. I'm like, look it. I want you fucking, as soon as I give you the alert, as soon as I hear someone go in my ear, we should let him go. For now. As soon as I hear that, I scream, I want you here grabbing it because I'm going to kick its ass. All right, I'm going to turn around and fucking cut its fucking head off. Get that guy, get your ass down here. Get them fucking soldiers down here because I'm going to do it. And I will. I got grabbed a girl yesterday, but it was totally, it was a little kid hanging around. Oh, man. So I caught, well, I didn't do anything. I just sat here and told Jesus that they're around stealing my energy out of my ear and talking in my ear. And that freaks you out, especially when you're trying to go to sleep. They're whispering. You can hear it outside. Oh. Well, so far, there are all three girls. No, four girls. I heard a guy earlier. One of the guy. I heard a guy talking. And I reported to Christ. It turns out it was one of the guards checking out the area. One of the cops checking out the area. So I heard a cop, but I thought it was a demon. Or a bad guy. But it was a cop checking 
perimeter. <laughs> it's crazy, man. This fucking spear world is crazy. It's a lot of fun when you're boring, I guess. But it's, it's fun and it ain't. So. Alright, guys, I'm gonna make this video, put it up there. Just an update on that little satanic cult, creating demons. It wasn't a baby they were killing. And like I said in my last video, it was they were creating a demon on the table. Whatever that is. It's like a, one of them little slugs that the knight smashed. So, anyway, that's an update. Talk to you later.